I'm at the club and the club I was working at was probably the most high end club in New York City. And I'm sitting there and I'm watching all these rich people come in, young people, old people. And I'm saying, what makes them better than me? Mm-hmm. Like, why am I making 30 grand a year? And they probably make 30 grand a day or a week or whatever, right? And I'm thinking like, what makes him, I'm as smart as he is. Well, the difference is we made different decisions in our life. Exactly, yep. yep. I, and he made better choices with his life. He had a better delayed gratification than I did. Everything in my point in my life was week to week, no, no longevity thought process. Everything I was concerned with was going to be what was best for me this week. Mm-hmm. And those people, they thinking about what's going to be best for me 10 years from now. And see, that's that's the issue. And for all you guys on here that you know think you're a victim, whether it's your gender, race, how tall you are, short, the, the key to life is choices. And I can tell you right now, the best choices are when you think long term. Mm-hmm. A lot of you guys right now, you might make some money. And I tell guys this all the time. And I say, invest in index funds. Are you going to be Bill Gates next week, two weeks, a year, five years? No. But that's the issue. See, that's the thing with people who invest. That's what Warren Buffett, that's what he does in invest. He's thinking 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. And what I've learned is the farther you're able to see in the future, the longer you're able to have delayed gratification, the more success you would have. If you're somebody who's just concerned with What's going to be good for me this week? You will always struggle. You know, I went to school. I went to uh, college, stayed a semester, and I'm just thinking like, ah, I got to do this for four years. No long-term thinking. A lot of you guys who went went to school and left out, you just thinking like, I got to do this for four years before I pay a benefit. And see, this is the issue. Because you thinking like, well, if I go get a job right now, opposed to investing this time in school, I'm going to be making money right now because you don't have no long term thinking process. And the guys that go to school thinking like, okay, yeah, you might make more money than me now or for the next four years. But five years from now, I'm going to be your supervisor. I'm going to be your boss and see the short term thinker. They just don't think like that. You have to to be successful in this world. You have to be a long term thinker. Y'all guys must understand I didn't make a dollar off of this dating coach stuff for like the first six or seven months yeah. until I started a patron. My channel was uh, not monetized. YouTube was going to the apocalypse. So I literally was not making nothing other than the consultations that I was getting uh, a couple of times a week. But other than that, I said, you know what? I had done developed that delayed gratification in that long term process. And if any of you guys watch some of my videos, I specifically talk about that, that I'm not concerned with making money right now. I know it'll get there. And if any of you guys know John, I guarantee you, John can tell you all those screens of revenue that he set up to make that 75 K a month wasn't there in a week or a month. It took years of work to get it to that point, but he had the long-term thinking to know that it would get there to that point. So that's the thing what you guys got. Y'all guys, Got to get y'all got to develop some kind of delayed gratification and become some long term thinkers. That's the thing. Nobody wants to build anything. You know, you go on YouTube right now. How many channels you going to see? They was making videos for four months, three months, four months, five months, six months. And they quit. They gave up Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. no long term thinking. They didn't get 10,000 views of video like they thought they was. So what they do, they instead of improving and figuring out ways they can improve, they just gave up. No long-term thinking. Sometimes thing, things take time to take fold. Yeah. Yeah. People can't, they can't handle the grind. Like life is a grind. Like it's one thing you got to, you got to learn to love the grind. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I was just, I was just on a conference call with, uh, with a Facebook ad agency that I, that I hired. Mm-hmm. And they asked me, they asked me the question is like, well, how do you, what, what does your budget need to be? Like how much money do you need to earn on every like conversion or whatever, you know, when, cause I'm going to mm-hmm. start doing some Facebook ads for the mm-hmm. Bulldog Mindset membership. Mm-hmm. And I told him, I said, you know, the way I look at it is, is uh, it, what will make me the most money in the future? I don't right. care about right now. Right. It's right. like what I try to do every day is I try to make a package. I, uh, I put some good shit in the package. Mm-hmm. I seal up the package. I address it to myself mm-hmm. five years from now. 
And then I there ship every day. I want to ship packages to the future. There that's, you go. that's what I'm trying to do. And that, and that's the thing is like, that's, that's yeah, you're, you're right on, on track with that. Cause that's, that's the difference between the people that, that make a lot of money and are successful and, and, and the ones that are not, it's, it's even the same in, you know, in fitness mm -hmm. dating, right. All mm -hmm. those things like it's, mm -hmm. it's, you gotta be able to, you got to be able to have that delayed gratification for sure. Yeah. You, you got to develop the investor's mindset. You got to mm -hmm. be able to one of these people, either you're going to invest your time or you're going to invest your money or both. All right. Either one, whether you're going to set up a program like you have or write books like I have, whatever the case may be, the key to success is investing. So mm -hmm. you get 30 grand, you get 40 grand. What are you going to do with that? You're going to go buy a car? Fine. Go buy a car, have fun. What I don't want you to do is, I don't want you to then turn around and complain to me that, you know, you was dealt a bad hand. You right. you know, this is what life is about. You could have took that 30 grand, 40 grand and then when it started your own business or invested into some index funds or put down on a rental property or anything. You made a decision to do what you want to do. And, and I'm talking I'm talking to myself 20 years ago mm -hmm. when, I'm, when I'm talking to this. I'm really not talking to you guys. I'm really talking to. AMS 15 years ago because this was me. I get an income tax and I go buy dumb crap with it and then I turn around and it's time to blame the man. And see, that's what I'm talking about. Now it's time. It, it, it's not me, John. It wasn't It wasn't me buying dumb stuff. It wasn't me chasing women all the time. It wasn't me buying a bunch of stuff that I didn't need. It was the man. And that's yep. the issue with most guys. Stop focusing and worrying about what this guy doing, what that guy doing. You get money invested. I don't care if it's $200 a week. Find some way that you can make it $400 a week. You got to develop that entrepreneurial mindset. Like, look, some you see the little kids, some people start selling candy early or lemonade stand. They take money, think, how can I flip it? And then you got, you got the consumer mindset and you got the businessman mindset. You got the consumer who thinks, I'm going to work a nine to five and then I'm going to go be a consumer. Then you got the business people who think like, OK, I got three hundred dollars. How can I flip it to six hundred legally? And that's this is the path that we go. If you want to be successful, you're going to have to become and develop that investor's mindset and lose that consumer's mindset. Yep, that's it. I, I remember like it switched over for me when I there was a period of my life where for most like early on in my life, I used to think about like monthly payments. Right. So I got, mm -hmm. I remember getting a raise from my job mm -hmm. and it was like 500 bucks a month. Mm -hmm. And I thought, Oh, I can afford 500 bucks a month more of a car or house or rent mm -hmm. or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. and, and that was the wrong way of thinking. Right. Cause mm -hmm. it was like, okay, now I can afford this more. And mm -hmm. then when I switched over my thinking to net worth and I was mm -hmm. like, okay, 500 bucks a month means that, I'm, I'm going to get, you know, an, an extra $6,000 a year that mm -hmm. I'm going to be able to add to my net worth. Thank you. That That's when everything changed because I stopped thinking those monthly terms because everyone's Thank like, you. you know, oh, the payments. It's like, no, no, I don't care what the payments are. I want to know what the interest rate is and what the mm -hmm. total cost is going to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you start thinking that way, mm -hmm. that's when things things change. And, and also the thing with me is, John, it's not about mm -hmm. never having anything nice. You just... Get 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 have a little delayed gratification until your money is working for you, and then mm -hmm. you 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 letting your you letting your investments buy your luxuries. All right, mm -hmm. I, it's not about never. It's it's not about being one of these guys who has a billion dollars walking around in ten dollar jeans and a two dollar t shirt, right. uh, living in a right. mobile home. I'm not trying right. to turn you into that that guy. I like nice things. The point is, what I say is delayed gratification. To where you get that 500 working for you, that way five, six, seven years down the road, now whatever little crap you want to buy, or whatever your money is working for you because you delayed it, you invested it for so long that now you don't need active income to enjoy your money. You able to use your investments. All right. Yeah. So right now, my books alone gonna make me over six figures a year. It took me time and sacrifice. For mm -hmm. me to write those books, they didn't just fall from the sky. I took time out of my day and say, you know what? I'm gonna give up dates. All right. Like I tell you guys, you can give up your time, your money, or both. I gave up time to write them books. And so I gave up dealing with so many women to write those books. And now 
the books are able, I'm able to live comfortable just off the books. If you took nothing else away, I could, I could live comfortable off of the books. But that took an investment of my time to get it to that point to where if I wanted to go get a nice car, I can do it and live off of the investment of my time and brand building to do that. That's so that's what a whole delay gratification. I don't I know a lot of you guys gonna say, well, you can't take it with you. The point is not that it, I'm not worried about you taking it with you. I'm, I, I just want you to get to a point of financial freedom to where exactly. you're able to get. If all you guys want to know what financial freedom is, that's when your investments can take care of your lifestyle. So yep. if, if you somebody who makes if you if your lifestyle is five grand a month and you got ten thousand dollars worth of investment rental properties coming in a month, that means you're financially free. And that's to the point to where if you want to do get active income it's optional. It ain't something you have to do. So that's the thing with that. All right. So that's the whole point, guys. You can have nice things. You can do. You can get your little toys and stuff like this. Just have a little, little, little delayed gratification. Just a couple of years. Invest your money. Get your money working for you. And then you can do what you want to do within reason.